So Stephen A. Smith uh, finally responds to Jason Whitlock. And to be honest with you, I don't blame him. But let me start this off by saying once again, I don't know Jason Whitlock. I don't know Stephen A. Smith, even though Stephen A. Smith and I are in the same fraternity. I don't know Stephen A. Smith. And I say this because I know a lot of times people seeing me going at Stephen A. Smith about some of the things he do says and some of the things he does, but I never take personal attacks on him. I'm only doing that because I see the agenda sometimes where he's attacking magically melanated men more viciously and with more vitriol and with more judgment than anybody else. So I call that out, but I don't call out what Stephen A. has accomplished on the media level. And let me say this, much respect to Stephen A. Smith for where he's gotten himself, man. He's the top personality at ESPN, which is the top sports media company in the world. And he should be the highest paid, fact of the matter. He should be paying, he should be getting paid more than Pat McAfee, more than Troy Aikman, more than Joe Buck. All of them dudes, he should be the highest paid because he's the most entertaining. But I say that to say this. It's a way to respond, man. So a lot of young journalists, especially magically melanated journalists, are watching Stephen A. And they're trying to be like Stephen A. Like when I was younger, I was watching Stuart Scott and Mark Jones. And I'm like, man, they're using a language that I use and that we use. So I'm going to continue to use that language. Now I'm going to work on my diction and try to find my tone and the tenor of how I say things. But I'm going to still be authentically me because Stuart Scott and Mark Jones, who continues to show that you, we can lose, use our language and be us and be successful. But my whole thing is a lot of young journalists watching Stephen A. Smith. And he's, he's propelled himself to a level where he didn't have to use that kind of language, man. That's all I'm saying, whether somebody agree with it or not. Because I got much respect for what the man has, uh, what he's accomplished. Ain't no doubt about it. But the language, regardless of how you was addressing it, Stephen A. Smith has an extensive vocabulary of words. His word bank is about as wealthy as vibranium. So there are other words he could have used to get his point across, other than fat shaming and MFing and B. I mean, the B word is harsh to call a dude, man. So to me, it was unprofessional and it was unbecoming of someone who has worked hard to elevate themselves here and to use that kind of language. Cause Whitlock didn't use that kind of language about Stephen A. That's all I'm saying. But those are just my, uh, that's, that's my doc's diatribe. All praises to the most high.